that was cool. That was really cool. Um, that's a good song to end on. And uh, I actually looked, I looked her up because I was quite curious uh, to see what the internet said of her. And it's funny, it says, Hibbert's music is often described as slacker pop. Slacker pop. Interesting. Yeah. Not sure what that means. No, that's but... fun. I think I think that's uh, kind of relating to you know those mid two thousands movies, kind of like American Pie, coming of age stuff. Style. Yeah, but those yeah. weird ones, kind of like I don't know who like um, what's the John Tucker one? John Tucker must die. Things like that. Yeah. It feels like that kind of movie. Kind of yeah. like this could you know. have been for Levine if it had been 20 years ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, no, yeah, I do. Yeah. I think yeah. um, her voice is really, really cool. Like, it's like really super different, isn't it? And I definitely hi- highly recommend you go and listen to her song Shark Week because that's um, that's wicked. I would have included that if it wasn't released like three years ago, but well worth a listen. No, yeah, I did like it. I thought it was very good. Um, it was one of those sort of mo- tracks you just have um, in the background. You can jump around to it. You can listen to it. It's it's cool. Really, really cool. Cool. Glad you enjoyed it. Sorry it wasn't the Shakespeare's. <laughs> I wish it was the Shakespeare's. Are we going to be adding to her monthly listeners or not, do you guys think? Um... um I mean, how many does she get? She gets 236,138. So this is what I mean about her having 10.2 thousand followers on Instagram, how invested these guys are. And obviously she's playlisted and she gets on various other things. She's got good management behind her and good support and stuff. But I think that goes a long way to show where her fan base sees her and sits her, you know? Mm. Yeah, I know what you mean. I quite like when um, artists do collaborations as well. Um, it means they're opening up themselves to try different sounds and also jumping onto different bands. Um, I don't really know um, the band, uh, The Regrets. Um, I haven't heard them before, um, but they sound quite cool. So I definitely give them a listen. Um, but yeah, it's cool. It's it's. I like the lyrics. The lyrics are very much like quite quite bleak about you know just everyday life sort of thing isn't it um uh and yeah yeah i i think it's the sort of track i would i would probably uh add to my playlist i wouldn't I ain't necessarily probably listen to it all the time but i definitely probably would um so i'm gonna rate it a 6.5 i think cool i think that's very cool as well i just wanted to quickly go back to what you were saying about the regrets as well that um the, the Lydia Knight is actually only 20 years old. Yes, and if you're... Lauren, yeah, and Lauren Hibbard is how young? 23, I think. 23, yes. Yeah, she's 23. So, I mean, these are all really just coming out as well. So, even though, uh, what was it, Shark Week? What did you call it? What was the song called? Yeah, Shark Week is the, is the song Shark that I really Week. liked. So that was released... Uh, 2019. Yeah, oh, so it was only like two years ago. Two years ago, but she was 21. So I mean, give her also some time maybe to grow into her sound as well. Mm, for sure. And I think it's quite interesting in the regrets as well. If uh, they collab with her and they're only 20 years old, they have time to also, uh, you know, make a new sound. You know, like Blink 182 sounded different when they were 20 as well. Good point. Yeah. No, for sure. For sure. So what would you Fair rate point. it, Yakpo? What's your uh, what's your I think it's promising. I think she she can she can improve. I think this is probably not a style of music that I'm particularly into. It's a bit like I don't know, Weezer, those kinds mm-hmm. of uh, bands. Yeah, it's, Weezer's a great Yeah, I know what you mean. Actually. Yeah, Weezer, it does have it's that. It's very Weezer esque. <clears throat> yeah, it, it really what is. Was the band what was the band with, uh, oh, my God, there was that, mm, oh, my God, how can I explain this? So the music video, there was Mina Savari, you know, the one from American Pie and from uh, from American Beauty as well. I guess she's only in movies with American in it. 
but American <laughs> Beauty with uh, Kevin Spacey. And in American Pie, she was the girlfriend of the of the tall guy who played the cross. I don't remember his name either. Anyways, and the song was uh, I got two tickets to Iron Maiden, baby. Wheatus. 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 See, Wheatus was exactly and like Weezer. Weezer to me. They morphed, they morphed into a single band. So anyways, that's kind of what it reminded me of. I think it's yeah. promising in its genre, so I'm going to give it a six. But, you know, I think it's uh, a pretty generic song overall. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd, I think that's fair enough. And I think it sort of like harks back to what I was saying about, or what you were saying about like American Pie and stuff. Like it is that kind of, you know, if it was 20 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, you could imagine it as part of the score for that film. And I think it sort of also goes to show how music does in many ways and at many times come full circle. You know, things like, you know, you ain't got to look at The weekend. He's bringing 80s music back pretty much. You know, it's it all sort of comes around. Yeah, you know, Bruno uh, Mars with his funk stuff, you know? Mm. Yeah, yeah, you're right. No, I, I did like it. I think it was a good track. And I'm, I'm sticking my 6.5. I think it's the sort of track that I would listen to and would enjoy. Um, but then again, going back to, is it anything different than what we heard maybe 10 years ago, 10, 15 years ago? Probably not. Probably no. not. And that's probably why I wouldn't rate it probably any higher than 6.5. Yeah. Um, and, you know, like we were saying, there's nothing wrong with that. And she's embracing that. Her voice is different. Um, but we, we have to we have to we have to take that as an element on rating uh, tracks, don't we? We do, especially yeah. on the serotonin show. We take it very very seriously. Our algorithm for rating exactly. it's, and it's an exact science. Bill Shakespeare <laughs> is obviously ten out of ten. We we all know that. So yeah, oh, but I mean, Speaking the Tempest of album was shit. <laughs> Tempest <laughs> album. <laughs> Yeah, I think Mid- Midsummer Night's Dream was better. You know, it had uh, several elements of which were a little more colourful. So, yeah, but I think um, Dire Straits' cover of Romeo and Juliet was great. Really, really good. I think you know, Bill Shakespeare did a great job to start with, but Dire Straits took it to a whole new level, I thought. I preferred know. Slipknots, to be honest. Vermilion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Vermilion. Wow. Yeah. Juliet. <laughs> Vermilion Part 75. Did that come out yet? Has it come out yet? I'm not sure. I'm still waiting for how, that. How actually. many parts are they on? Because there was like part three as well. I mean, there were so many three? parts to that song. Yeah. Oh, right. I don't know. I yeah, Vermilion part, part Three. Yeah. I think there's Vermilion Part One, Part Two, and Part Three. Part One and Part Two were on the same album, weren't they? Yeah, the um, Subliminal Verses. Yeah. But yeah, yeah Part album. Three came out like 10 years later, I think. Yeah, yeah, well, that's when I stopped listening to them, really. I think the third one was on the what's the grey? Is it called the oh, uh, yeah, the grey chapter, grey chapter, something like that. Yeah, yeah, I think it was on that yeah. one, but yeah. um, yeah. But yeah, so I, I rated Lauren Hibbard a 7.3. I really like her, I think she's really, really good. Um, and I just think she's she's different enough for me. I think, um, there's probably not many female artists sort of championing that kind of sort of. What could you call it? Summer punk kind of sound. And yeah, I like it. Yeah. I think she can it, is summer, it is summer punk. It's the sort of track that you listen to in summer um, mm. and you, you get those vibes with, you know, if you're over here, you got Pims out or you got the beer out, you know, um, and you're good. I actually had Pims on the weekend. Really happy about that. Love that. That's the first sign of summer for me. Pims. So now, now, I think now it's our absolutely viewers, horrible. Now our listeners will be so happy to know that Mike had Pims over the weekend. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, they think right, it's in the street. The experience, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think this red wine kick is getting to my head too far. <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 we're just like attacking each other at this point. I mean, I'm here with my lost laggers and Mike with his wine. Yeah, so we're yeah. going to go. Mike needs to throw up in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, actually, I've got um, a live viewing at my local theatre for uh, the, the Tempest. So that's why. So I'll, I'll catch hey. you guys later. Yeah. yeah, all right. See you later, mate.
<laughs> All right. Have Bye. fun listening to Bill and the Shakespeare. <laughs> No, wait, wait. Let's end. Let's end this properly. All right. Let's end this properly. <laughs> bye, Mike. Bye, bye, bye. See you, see you. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> no, but genuinely, thank you for listening to the Serotonin Show. Uh, if anyone is listening, um, but <laughs> I'll be listening, mate. I'll be listening tomorrow. I can't Just wait. <laughs> Is there uh, anyone? Probably best home? no one does listen since Jacopo called and us all relax, cunters, relax. But anyway. <laughs> I think the word cunt was used more like four or five times. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh god. Seriously. Uh, I think we This has been a good one. Oh, I've thoroughly it. enjoyed myself. Guys, this was fun. Cheers. Yeah, cheers guys. See you all soon, yeah? Love you. Next week. Mwah. Ciao. Mwah. Go and get some. Go and get Shakespeare, Mike. Shakespeare. <laughs>